Everybody, this is John Speckle. I'm bringing you another Madden 15 video. In this one, I'm going to go over my favorite run play so far, and that is the strong power play out of the Denver playbook. That's out of the pistol ace formation. And a lot of times, running off that C, C gap, you'll get quite a bit of yards out of it. And this was the very first play of the game against this guy, so kind of didn't go his way but yeah so the first thing you want to do whenever you come out into this is you want to determine which side of the field is the weak side of the defense and in this case it's going to be to the right this play takes a little while to develop because you have both guards pulling it kind of works a little bit like a sweep but you have a little more versatility to be able to cut it back in so once you snap the ball you want to let the play develop and that let your blockers get out in front of you rather than immediately boosting through and sprinting away. And in this case, you can see 71 is the only one that hasn't chipped anybody yet, so I kind of lead towards him to get that chip off the safety at the very end and off to the races. Another thing I do, and you might want to do, depending on what team you play, is, is your second tight end. Bring him in. If he does not have a good blocking rating on the run, as your, say, your fullback, sub that fullback in. I have noticed that you can see a little later on in the video that it is a little weak to outside pressure. So anything crashing down and disrupting the play before your blocker is going to get out in front of you will, will shut it down. So you have to be wary of that. It's not something you can run every play. But uh, it's pretty reliable for the most part. What I usually do is mix it up with an audible to the inside, on the inside run, just for times that... I can see that there's pressure coming from the outside. And it worked really well for me in this game. In particular, I ended up having probably more rushing yards out of Lacey than I've had in most, probably all my games so far. Uh, don't want to say anything really bad about this guy, but he wasn't any good. You know, I mean, straight up. And there you can see that was an outside blitz that just beat the blocker before he could even do anything. Be to the run and I think I've seen a lot of people actually run this play um, when I was cruising through a little bit of YouTube stuff and some old Madden lab stuff to figure out you know what I want to do with this current one right before 16 comes out because you know of course I'm gonna switch right to 16 when it comes out and get back to playing Madden but it seems to be a very popular formation uh, running Pistol Ace. And I'm going to lab it a little more and go through and figure out exactly how I want, it, want my scheme to be set up. And like I said, not just against this guy, but I've ran this play every time to the weak side and just let it develop. And like right there, pulling it back up to the inside if I need to. It It's a lot like, I remember, I think it was like Madden, I want to say 2006? Uh, the toss sweep was just amazing. Uh, and part of that was is due to a glitch to where if you if you stood still and juked, it would fake the computer out completely. And I hated that juke glitch. And the only way to beat it was to actually make the user tackle yourself. Uh, I didn't use it unless somebody used it against me just because I hated it so much. And in all Maddens, I've loved to run the ball. Uh, that's how I get, end up getting people that, man, that should have been a pick. <laughs> I was right there, should have been a pick. Sorry. But uh, once I get about two score, two or more scores up on somebody, I will run the play clock down to zero pretty much every time and just run the clock out. And that makes a lot of people mad. But that's how I won. Get a comfortable lead and then just – man just grind them down and it makes people mad it doesn't bother me at all but uh but yeah man i love being able to run the ball on this one we'll see how it goes with Madden 16 but uh, hopefully they keep it up i i'm trying to think of a madden that i've played where you just could not run maybe it was i want to say maybe 09 it was bad i can't remember but uh, one thing I do have to get better at with this game is is developing a little better better on the play uh, play action passing because used to I was used to being able to just anytime I wanted to 
if I got it in man coverage on my tight end, uh, play action post or not post uh, flag was just automatic catch every single time. And this is kind of nail in the coffin for this guy. <laughs> You know, running all over him with Lacey, decides to uh, concede to me. At least he didn't do the just disconnect of that, gets on my nerves worse. But, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what your favorite plays are, and uh, let me know if anything I could do better with the one I'm running right now. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.